we have it set together. Now at the point we call this part the blocking. And basically we're gonna take all these wooden blocks, a little bit of happy hot glue, a little hot glue here, a little hot glue there. And then we're actually gluing the deck and the hull together. And what that does is it helps me shape the boat, set the shear of the boat, and then I can put my inside seam on the inside and that holds the whole boat together. This is the inside seam and it's nine ounce bi-weave on the outside with a layer of chop mat on the inside and the chop mat gives it superior adhesion and it makes it so we don't have to use as much resin on it. This is what holds the boat together basically. Everybody asks me how I get the inside seams in these long boats. It's the magic tool right there. It is a brush on a stick. What I do is I coat the inside, inside of the boat with a thin layer of fiberglass so it gives it a wet track to slide on. And then I use this end to actually poke the glass and slide it up the seam of the boat. And then I brush it back and it's the, the magic tool. So what we've done to the boat today is we've removed the blocks and we're getting ready to set our outside seam. And it's a layer of thickened resin with a six ounce strip of glass and then thickened resin over the top of that. Then we'll remove the tape, let it dry, sand it down, put another skin coat of resin, sand that down, and then we're gonna gel coat it. This is a six ounce fiberglass tape. You can see it's stitched on either edge so it doesn't fray or go all wacky on me and it actually gets pushed down and embedded into the resin and then we add another little layer of resin over the top of it and seal it off and not only is it cosmetic but it, it does add strength to the seam. This is what makes the seam is if you can see it now when we first put the glass down you can see the white that resin with the squeegee it actually embeds the resin into the glass and gives it a smoother finish so when I come by to sand it before the last pass it's glass smooth That's it. Now we wait. We usually wait probably three to four hours. I put a little heat to this one, try to get it to kick a little more. And then the next step is, is we remask it with two inch tape. Then we sand any roughness off and try to get this somewhat smooth. 
and then we put another skim coat over the top of this which gives us a really smooth finish. Let that dry. We've sanded the seam and we prepped it. It's got all the layers of resin on. What I'm about to do is mask it off. And then gel coat the seam with color. Final step for me, uh, we masked it off, we resined the seam, we glassed the seam, we gel coated the seam, bulkheads are in, it's assembled, ready to finish. At this point, you can paddle it.